Brandon here with IFAST University. This month we're going to go over some mistakes that I've made uh, in the gym and kind of the reasoning that I've corrected these mistakes, whether that's via education or practical experience that I've learned from. All right, mistake number four that uh, a young Brandon Brown used to make is thinking that cardio had to be monotonous, right? If you work at a a commercial gym or a big box gym and there's just rows and rows of treadmills or rows and rows of stationary bikes and to me that was that was cardio right you got on the treadmill and you walked or you ran for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or however long you were going that day and that was cardio and it was really boring when i thought that's what cardio was right so at ifast now we try to take cardio and make it into a game or make it into something fun where it's not monotonous and our clients don't dread it of being on the treadmill for 40 minutes right we use spike ball we play a lot of spike ball here at ifast for our clients that can move well um, again we're just trying to trick them into to getting this these cardio adaptations that we talked about but not making it monotonous we're making it fun now so that hopefully they enjoy it All right i actually tricked myself into doing this by just setting up circuit uh, something not super intense i still want my heart rate to be somewhere around 120 to 150 when i'm going through it but maybe setting up some kettlebells and a sled push or anything else just to keep my heart rate up for that half hour or 60 minutes